Who was Johannes Reichlin, and what was Luther's view of him? Um, um, in, in his beginnings, he was uh, very, very enthusiastic, and uh, uh, he supported, Luther supported Reuchlin, uh, especially in um, uh, the battles uh, against uh, uh, what is called the Dunkelmänner, the, 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 the uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, the narrow-minded uh, representatives of the old church. And um, uh, Reuchlin had been attacked and Luther was part of uh, those who defended him. Uh, and of course, uh, Reuchlin was very, very necessary and important for him uh, because he learned Hebrew uh, by uh, uh, the grammar which had been published by Reuchlin and which is, so to say, the starting point of um, the Latin European or the Christian uh, um, uh, study of uh, the Hebrew language. And in this sense, he was very, very important. Um, and Luther was inclined in the around about 1519, 1520 to bring Reuchlin on his side, but uh, he was not willing. He, uh, he uh, kept being uh, uh, part of the Roman, uh, Roman church. Um, and on the, on the other hand, there's a great difference between Luther and Reuchlin concerning uh, how to deal with uh, uh, the Jewish people uh, in his own presence. Um, Reuchlin was one of uh, the very few people who argued in a jurisdictional way. He argued that uh, Jewish people are... Um, um, members of the Roman Empire and therefore had a certain legal state and they weren't allowed, it, it was impossible to do anything against the state. So you can't uh, rob uh, a citizen of the uh, Roman Empire, his, his, his writings, his uh, manuscripts and so on. Um, and this was an argumentation which was very, very specific for Reuchlin. And I do not know anybody else who uh, argued in this way, which was, of course, of a very great importance for uh, uh, the way to deal with Jewish people. <laughs>